we were talking about systems of equations and we want to graph and solve linear equations in two variables and we want to use algebraic methods to solve linear systems. One of the algebraic methods that we can use is elimination. So in this case, elimination, uh, we use this method if we do not have a variable with a coefficient of one. So choose a variable to eliminate. That means we want to have them um, have the opposite coefficient in front of them. So multiply one or both equations by to obtain opposites. Add the equations, substitute your answer back in, and check for ordered pairs. So here, if we look uh, which one's going to be the easiest, we have a 2x and a 4x. I know that those are multiples of 2, so that would work. And then here I have a 4 and a 5. Uh, the easiest way to get that to cancel out would be to multiply and get them to be coefficients of 20. So the one that's going to be easiest to work with is if I make this top x become the opposite of what we have here. So this is 4, and I want 2x to become negative 4. So how do you make uh, 2x become negative 4? You multiply by negative 2. So you multiply by negative 2 to all of the parts of the equation. And then in this case, we come down here, we got negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x. And that's why right there is why we multiplied by negative 2, because we want to have a positive 4x and a negative 4x, because those will be eliminate each other. Negative 2 times negative 4y is positive 8y. And negative 2 times 13 is negative 26. Now, we talked about this already, but now we have an eliminated 4x. So then we can go through to the y and negative 5y plus 8y is positive 3y. And 8 minus 26 is negative 18. And then we can divide by 3. And then we get y is equal to negative 6. So now we can take the top equation and we can substitute our y into the top equation just like we did in our uh, previous substitution after we found one of the variables. So here we have 2x minus 4 and then we're going to substitute in our, our y that we calculated. That's equal to 13. So then we get 2x minus or plus 24 is equal to 13. Then we subtract 24 from both sides. And we get uh, 2x is equal to negative 11. Divide by 2. And we get x is equal to negative 11 over 2. And then we can check our solution. So we just used we just used the top equation here. So we want to check it with the bottom equation to make sure that it's correct. So we have four times negative eleven over two. And we're going to say minus five times negative 6 equals 8. And we want to check to make sure that this is correct. So 4 and 2 cancel, so this ends up being negative 22 plus 30 does equal 8. So 8 does equal 8. So our solution for this case is 
negative 11 over 2 and negative 6. And then this is consistent independent.